Hello everybody, so today we're looking at searching worldwide news with code and we're going to use a news API to look for news about New World which is a new game which is out today so without further ado let's start writing some code so I've got VS Code open here and we're going to write some Python code and the first thing we want to do is we're going to import the requests package so import requests spell it properly and then we're going to import os we import os so that we can hide our api key um, i'm obviously doing it here because it's <laughs> going to be broadcast across the internet but um, what i've done is i've registered with news api and you get your free api key and you're allowed to make 100 requests a day so um, that's fine for demonstration purposes or it might even be fine for whatever you need so once you've done that, you put your API key into a text file with a .env file. Not even a .env file extension, it's just called .env. So it's a text file. You can just go file, new file, and you would then just say something like API equals, and then you paste in your API, which might look something like that. Then you would save it can't do it here because I've already saved it as env but you would just do dot env and press enter so that's how to save your env file with your api key in it so save okay good so uh, what we want to do first is we actually just want to get our api key out of the env file so that we can use it as a variable within this piece of code here so what we're going to do is we'll say from dot env loads dot env we've already installed this using the python pip installer and that's pretty straightforward Import. okay good so then you what you actually do is you actually run the load dot env method and that actually loads the variables from the env file and api which is going to be the name of our variable within this piece of code, then equals os.environ, go, dot get. And you can either access it as a dictionary or you can use parentheses and just put quotes around. And there we go. So let's just run that and check that all that's okay so far. And what have I got? Um, auto saves on, yeah. There we go. Okay, so next we just want to say, uh, we want to put in our URL. And from the news API site, which let me go back to that, we see the um, example get request and they were doing it for Tesla. So um, yeah, as soon as you've registered for your API key, then you can test that and it will substitute your own unique API key into their example and then you can test it and you'll get the latest news from the past month on Tesla. So we're going to do it on New World and then we might even try it on blockchain or something um, even more exciting. So yeah, let's do that next. So here we go, URL equals, and then it's going to be an F string. Um, I just pasted that in. That's pretty much what you saw for the Tesla example except for it's an F string with HTTPS news API. Then I've put in new world. So I thought that was fairly topical and it should get some results for today. And then, yeah, so at the end of the API key equals, instead of uh, having your API key visible, we're just gonna do some curly braces. And then we will just put in API because that's the name of, and we'll close the F string as well. Bit long isn't it is that better and um, we'll just separate that line as well so just have that in as well just to make it neater um and i think that should be okay let's just run it yeah no problems so yeah that if you find that something gets too far off the edge of the page i mean to be pythonic you should actually just stick to 80 characters horizontally um 
not essential, but anyway, so that's our that's our URL. And then just really we just do requests dot get URL and then we just set a variable to that so we'll say response equals request.get URL and then we'll print our response. In fact we could pretty print it. Should we do that? I'll just have to import pretty print as well up here. From the print import the print. Good. So we should get some news about a new world game which is out today. So without further ado, I'm just gonna make that big. There we go. And um response 200 and that is because i am only printed i'm only reprinting the response so we want the text again and there we have it and i'm not sure how many results we've got let's just um status okay total results three articles source so that all needs passing really because what we would then want to do is just single out the bits that we want um i'm surprised i only had three results for that but um there we go so right following that's for new world so that's only three so that's not ideal really we want some more and then i'll get something that returns more results and then we'll pass it as well so let's do that i'm just going to change um let's change new world and we'll put in block chain keep it topical with my recent series of videos which i hope you've all been watching and subscribing thumbs in thumbs in up because of the algos and all that so ah we wow look at that total results six three five seven <laughs> wow okay so what we want to do now is we want to we want to what should we pick out title yeah let's just get the title of each article shall we so uh close that and it's equal to response.json so there we go uh we can now work with that so if we get articles from the uh, data we can now go down and uh, we've actually we've not got articles we've actually got the the source the author and all of that so um that's not titles and that's articles so then um title equals articles dot get and then title if we print title we'll iterate through these in due course i just want to identify the, um, the structure to start with okay list object has no attribute ah, okay what we need to be doing here is articles two i believe this is the second item in the list No. So, source, author, title. So we've got a dictionary. Okay, let's try that and then. Title. Oh, typo. There we go. So that's got us one title. Now, we, instead of just getting one title, as you saw, we had uh, we had hundreds of results, didn't we? So what we need to do is actually iterate through all of the articles and get all of the titles. Okay, so what I've done is I've just said for title in articles, print title, and then we've picked out the um, title value, and that seems to have worked. So if you look at this, we've got new cryptocurrency forum gala 
Hedgehog launches no loss prediction markets. Immutable holdings, blah, blah, blah. So, Crypto Roundup heads up. So, that is how to get the titles. And if we wanted the full article, then uh, we would just proceed. And instead of printing the title, we would print... Actually, let's just change that to source, because I know that was available as well. There we go, the source, Business Wire, Yahoo, Cointelegraph, Yahoo. Why have to scroll right back up? Oh, I've only got so much in history. Um, what did we have? We had source, title, URL. Was that available? Can't quite remember. No, obviously not. So let's just put that back in and um, we'll go for title. So that was the aim of the game was to get all of the titles from um, News API. And there we go. So that's just a nice little video showing you how to use how to use a News API to get topical information using requests with Python. And the, um, the key thing here to remember is that you need to with your response, the, you then need to do response.json and you pass that into a variable. And then with that variable, then you can use .get and you can extract the articles or whatever the, um, whatever. so that's the key. And then you want to, be, that will then get you back the, uh, the values. Um, the key being the bit to the left of the um, colon and then the value is actually the bit of data that you want, you, the, the bit that you want to be able to read and see on your screen or work with. So um, yeah, there we go. So hide your API key, put it in a .env file. Um, in fact, I didn't even need to use to import JSON then or pretty print. Let's just tidy that up and uh, run it once more. And you see it still works. So um, there we go. Use uh, and use API, extract a response using request.get, and then, yeah, use .get rather than the square brackets uh, initially because that will that will give you none rather than um, giving you an error. So, yeah, use .get.